Maybe you have a distribution that looks like this. All right. Mm. Hmm. Would you guys say that that's normal? No. What does it kind of look like? Looks like your bell is tilted, uh, is uh, tilting to the what? To the right. Is that right? What do we call this? Can we do some reading? This is a skewed, a skewed distribution. And in fact, it's skewed in what direction? To the right. Some data looks like this. We also have left skew. So keep this in mind for now as you do your homework and do some of these problems. Okay? As you do them, <coughs> look at the picture and try to see if you can answer or determine whether or not it looks like it's normal, right skewed, left skewed. This is a left skew because it's supposed to be tilted how? It's a skewed distribution to the left. How is this one tilted? Isn't that left? Left. And then finally, we have this other situation known as if your distribution looks this way, some things look like this as well. Do you guys know what that's called? This is called a, uh, sorry. This is known as a uniform distribution. We'll talk more about these later. But as you graph your data, I'm sorry, as you organize data, draw the pictures of a data in the form of a histogram, keep in mind the picture that you're drawing and how that data is distributed. Is it normal? Is it skewed to the left? Skewed to the right? Is it uniform? Because all those things have meaning that we'll, that we'll discuss. OK, you guys OK with that? All right. That's the first picture we're gonna, I'm going to talk about. The next picture I'm going to talk about is what's known as a frequency polygon. Do you guys know what a frequency polygon is? You ever see one? Let's see. Anybody here watch, uh, what's that cartoon? Wiley e. Coyote and what? Did you guys ever watch that? You do? The Roadrunner, is that right? I used to always watch that cartoon. Mm hmm And I don't know, as a kid I always I always rooted for the what? For the coyote. Because I always wanted to see what that coyote would do. I never I never knew. What is a coyote gonna do if it catches a roadrunner? I didn't know as a kid. What is he supposed to do? Eat him, I guess. I didn't know that, but I said, well, I want to see him catch him for once. And I used to watch that cartoon, and I remember the, co the coyote trying to really think about, planning about how to catch the, the roadrunner. Is that right? And I always used to see this graph. And I always used to wonder, what is that? What do you think that is? It's a what? It's a frequency polygon. And here's how it works. You see all these points that I just drew in red? Remember from algebra? You're going to plot, OK? You're going to plot the midpoint versus the frequency for every bin. Thank God we already found those values. Here's the midpoint. Here's a frequency. We already have this information. So you're going to plot the midpoint versus the frequency. You see this coordinate? That's a midpoint. This is a frequency. But you're going to do that for every bin. And once you plot them, you're going to draw these what? Straight lines connecting midpoints. So the first thing you do is plot your midpoint versus frequency. The second thing is you're going to draw your what? Your straight lines connecting your midpoints, or connecting the points, we'll say. 
And if you draw, I guess, what? I guess this was 1, 2, and so was this. If you now bring the lines to the x-axis, I guess, this is now technically a polygon, a closed shape here. So hence the, hence the, the frequency polygon, OK? Hence the polygon. So you're going to need to close it up this way. You're going to draw these lines toward the end there. Okay, That's your frequency polygon. Now, notice something nice here. If I go to a histogram, this is what you guys can do. This is how it works. If I were to plot the first midpoint versus frequency, where would that be? Do you guys know on this picture? Where would that be? Huh? Where is the, isn't that the first midpoint? Right? Where's the frequency? Three. So that, that is going to be a what? A dot right there. Is that right? What's the next one? Midpoint versus what? It's going to be a, a point there. What's the next one? See what I'm saying? It's going to be, that point is going to be on top of and, and on the middle of each roof. Right? Is that true? So take a look. If we were to draw now a frequency polygon, plotting the midpoint versus frequencies on top of each roof, right, roof, right on top, right in the middle. What's the next step? Straight line. Oh. Almost done. Is that a polygon? Not quite. Has to be a closed shape. The roadrunner never made a frequency polygon. It looks similar. He never closed the distance there. So what's the deal? Down. Make it to the right of this boundary value, this last boundary value. Make this to the left of the what? This last boundary value. So what you guys see here is known as a frequency polygon that one day you may have to what? graph or, you know, or read, okay? If I get rid of what? This, 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 this. Get rid of the, uh, the rectangles. You may still want to leave your numbers there if you like. Some, I do sometimes. Your frequency values. This is known as a frequency polygon. All right, anybody have any questions on that? You sure? Positive? Okay, it's time for a break. Is that right? Yeah. Let's take a break. Um, short break. 10.05. Let's be back. Uh, how, much, how long? 10 minute break? Back at 10.15? Be back at 10.15. I'll take row a little later when I get, uh, yeah, when we get back. All right. All right, what we've done so far is we have, um, we've gathered data, we've organized data, we've drawn pictures of data. We're going to now summarize our data. We're going to summarize data. And when we summarize data, we're really talking about what's known as the center of our data. <coughs> this, the irony is the center, there's three different types of centers. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. But 